Hey everybody, thanks for checking out another video. So in this video for December, I've been kind of trying to add some games to my, my website, uh, Daedal OS, uh, desktop environment in the browser. And I was able to add a couple of my favorites. Uh, well, I mean, Minecraft's not my favorite necessarily, but Quake 3 definitely. Uh, and those are the big ones there, Minecrafts and Quakes, you know, everybody loves those. So uh, let's just dive in and I'll just start showing you how, how it goes. Uh, so this is my desktop environment in the browser. We can switch the background and stuff to various different things. Uh, I like this Matrix 3D one. It's kind of fun. So let's just try that one for a bit. And yeah, let's just kind of dive right in. Let's just start with Quake because, like I said, it's kind of my favorite one. So yeah, I was able to port Quake 3. As you can see, this is it kind of playing right here. And the basics behind it were this port right here. Uh, there's a few different ports of the ports. Um, where they've put it in an script and the, the code's kind of online. This is a free and open source one, and it's got a couple maps. I've kind of gotten rid of the mobile stuff for now, but I like the fact that it just had a couple maps because then it's not too big of a payload that I'm kind of giving everybody when they visit my site. Um, this was the port here. It's a pretty popular one, 1 1.2 thousand stars. Um, this one's kind of a more official source code versus the one that I'm using that's a little more portable and cut down. And if you've ever gone to like Quake.js, it's kind of the same idea here. They talk about it here using the same port again. Uh, so yeah, I'm using something kind of similar to that, but it's more cut down. And I can just do a resize here and it'll redo the resolution. And maybe we can play a couple maps here just to see how it goes. Because I, I used to be pretty good back in the day and I, I had a lot of fun playing with this on the website so far. It's been kind of fun. And oh, I haven't been playing with so many people in the map or bots. I'm not a big fan of playing with bots, to be honest. Oh, nice. I'm already getting awards. This used to be really fun. I used to play with my friends back in the day, but I used to play the Rocket Arena mod more so, Rocket Arena 3. Uh, I can't remember why. I think I just liked starting and not having to gather ammo and stuff, and this is kind of a more unofficial one anyways. Or not unofficial, but this isn't the one that I would typically play just because I used to play online when I was a kid. Um, I guess I used to play not online sometimes. Okay, there I died. Let's try exiting this. No, I don't want to exit the game. I want to leave this arena and I want to try a different map and see if we can do that. This is another really fun one. Even just bouncing around and not even fighting in this one is kind of fun. So this is kind of just like a fun experience you can have on my website, I guess. of just like bouncing around in this map and just avoiding fighting if you want. I mean, if you're a pacifist, see if you can avoid getting hit. It's uh, not impossible. Strifing, that's the trick. The left and right. It's it's all about the strife, the strife life. Uh, I think that's probably a thing that someone said before, but I just made that up at the same time. Pretty good with rockets. Oh, in the air, nice. Let's see if I can get this dude. No, I couldn't get him in the air. But I did pretty good for the most part. I never even fell in all of this, which is decent. Let's see if I can get this guy in the air. Jump, jump. Come on, set yourself up. Uh, nobody wants to be set up. Okay, so that's enough of that one. So that's a pretty fun one. And then the other one that I have, I used to, I have this built-in browser and I have these little bookmarks here and I, I have Diablo as one of them. This is, uh, but these are actual other people's websites and there used to be an other people's websites was this one here, classic.minecraft.net. Uh, and this is a pretty fun one. It's actually a little bit different in some ways and maybe more authentic perhaps, I'm not sure. I think they're both similar ports actually. But the one that I was able to find now that these, this one no longer works in this in browser because of the way the cores works it's called so they made it so that i can't uh basically i can't load it here if i try to go to that classic one it just won't work you can just trust me on that so i got rid of the bookmark and now i'm using classy cube which is similar and it's also another minecraft classic port it's on github as well and i put that here in classy cube it has a different icon also it's resizable so that's another one there and one weird thing with this one is it doesn't have audio uh but other than that it's kind of fun I think it has like animals and stuff like the other ones like sheep, but I actually don't know now that I think about it I haven't really seen any animals around when I've been playing this game So it may be a little more lifeless than your typical minecraft. I'm not sure the only minecraft I've really played it was it's kind of after my time not before my time uh, the, My time was the quake 3 time and we didn't have minecraft necessarily back then But I, I've been playing it more now because I have it on my xbox game pass So I've been playing it with my daughter a bit but yeah, typically I run into sheep pretty quick and I'm not doing it here. So it's this might be a more cut down version, but it was an interesting one, I thought. So it was another one worth, worth demoing. Another cool thing you can do too with the Quake one is when you're playing the Quake one here, once it starts up, you can actually 
Uh, I'm thinking of integrating this in so that I have the ability to load the configuration file. Because actually, if you open up DevTools here, you can read the file. So that's actually the Quake 3 file. So I, I do have the ability to load different configs and save like with different field of views or whatever kind of customizations I want to do. So it's another option I might do uh, in the future. And I'd probably just put the files in like uh, program files or something like that. I'm not even sure. Uh, but anyways, thanks for checking out my video. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, please throw me a like. And if uh, you want to support me or motivate me, please subscribe. And see you in the next one. Bye.